Hi, it's official. Double did it inflation, which is no news to us at the bottom of the economic pile, where it's already been the case for ages, where the basic essentials, bread, milk, pasta and so forth, have risen in price by up to 50%. Within a year, this figure could be approaching the norm if energy bills are taken into consideration. All the establishment political parties have no real solution to the approaching financial meltdown, not to mention the multiple crises leapfrogging each other in seriousness and intensity. So far, after a decade of austerity as background, there's been no resistance worth talking about. Enough is enough. The brash new kid on the block has already gained a huge following, but it looks like to a long-standing anarcho malcontent such as myself, enough is enough is already a busted flush. White, middle class, the resurrection of Corbyn Easter territory and people's assemblies all over again. The first time as tragedy, second time as farce. In the cold light of realism, this will go nowhere. The organisers fear the don't pay campaign, want to overshadow it, push it into the margins while nudging everything towards Labour. You don't have to be a political genius to figure this out, or to know its ultimate disastrous destination. Even don't pay won't solve anything, but it certainly has more subversive potential than enough is enough. We only have one choice, to take to the streets in the most defiant and bloody-minded manner imaginable. There's a lot of nostalgia about the anti-poll tax campaign going around at the moment. It's not the actual campaign that smashed the poll tax and led to the demise of Thatcher. It was a disorder, street clashes, riots, out of control protests denounced by the left and Labour incidentally, that did the business and had the potential to go much further. And that's what we should remember right now. Okay, bye.